The preparation and properties of potassium graphite. Attention! Potassium reacts violently with water and can cause chemical burns on the skin. Diethyl ether is highly flammable and can cause drowsiness and dizziness. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. First, the oxide layer is removed from a piece of potassium. It is cut under paraffin oil to prevent the reaction with oxygen and humidity. Then the paraffin oil was removed with diethyl ether, usually an hexane is used for this. When the ether had evaporated completely, the potassium was added to a test tube which was then sealed with cotton wool. By weighing the tube with the wool before and after the addition of the potassium, the exact amount could be determined. The amount of graphite to be added could then be calculated. For each mole of potassium, 8 moles of graphite have to be added. Then a glass rod is poked through the cotton wool, which has to be long enough to reach to the bottom of the tube. Next, the mixture is heated briefly with a heat gun and stirred with a glass rod. A part of the potassium then reacts with the oxygen in the air until it is used up. Air is mostly nitrogen, which then acts as an inert gas. In the lab, pure nitrogen or argon is used. It was then heated and stirred a few times until a homogeneous powder was obtained. This reaction can be simply described by the following chemical equation. Potassium reacts with graphite to form potassium graphite. This reaction is usually performed under argon at 100 to 150 degrees C while stirring with a glass stirring bar. Graphite is made out of layers of carbon between which atoms or ions can be inserted. This is called intercalation, which is why potassium is also called an intercalation compound. Potassium graphite has a color that is similar to bronze, which can hardly be achieved at this small scale and without using an inert gas directly. It is a strong reducing agent and even pyrophoric. The graphite is left behind after using it as a reducing agent which can then be filtered off. Here it was heated because it stuck to the bottom of the test tube and fresh air had already entered the tube. Not all of it reacted so the rest was heated with a Bunsen burner. This were the preparation and properties of potassium graphite. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment.